Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how to run multiple GPU for your AI application. Due to the advance of AI, single GPU may not have sufficient VRAM to run the AI applications. That's the reason why you can use multiple GPU to make it possible to run larger AI models. So this includes uh, stable diffusion, XL or large language model. So let's uh, look at uh, <coughs> the home page for the X Llama. So it just shows that uh, the uh, VRAM number corresponding to the size of the model. So as we can see that uh, the 7 billion model, it requires uh, 5.2 gigabytes of VRAM. If you increase that to 13 billion, it uh, requires 9 gigabytes of VRAM. So 9 gigabytes of VRAM means that uh, if you have a single SOTI 60 Ti, SOTI 70, you are out of luck to run that. So yeah, that's unfortunately. So what you can do, so I think uh, you can, if you have like multiple GPU, there are methods to use multiple GPU to run those. I think Xlama is a, a great example. So that's uh, what I want to do a quick demo today. So uh, the installation of Xlama, if you are not familiar, please refer to my previous uh, video. The installation is exactly the same. The installation of the dual GPU is also very straightforward. It doesn't require any software change. So after you install, you can do a quick check. You can use uh, the NVIDIA SMI to show all the GPU available in your system. So in, in my case, I installed uh, like two SOTI 60 Ti in the same system. So this is what uh, it shows me. There are two GPU, GPU zero and GPU one, and they both have a maximum of eight gigabytes of VRAM. So this is what it looks like. And uh, I will do a quick demonstration of the X Llama. So let's uh, so the command line options are very much similar to what I demonstrated previously for single GPU, but it uh, requires another uh, option called. Uh, dash gs so this this one shows that uh, uh to split the vram like between gpus so for example the first uh, number four means i want to split uh, to allocate uh, four gigabytes to the first gpu my gpu zero and then the second number eight is uh, uh allocate every little bit of GPU from my second GPU, GPU one. So this way, uh, like four and eight total becomes 12 gigabytes. So yeah, so let's uh, run it. Yeah, and also make, make sure that uh, you, you, you follow the installation guide in my other video. For example, you will need uh, the Python virtual environment you will need uh, to download uh, the, the model file. In this case, my, my model file it has uh, 13 billion parameters. All right, so let's uh, give it a try. And uh, of course, you can also do a benchmark on that. All right, it's uh, 
uh, started very quickly. So as we can see, and uh, pay, let's pay also pay attention to the left side, the the especially the VRAM usage right here and here. Uh, let me let me open another window to make it more clear. So yeah, so 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 this is monitoring real time dashboard. It can can shows you like how much VRAM are used for each GPU. So in this case, the first GPU GPU zero has seven gigabytes of VRAM used. The reason is that uh, I connected uh, my HDMI to GPU zero, so it also consumes some of the VRAM. And then the second one, the second one has about uh, four point five gigabytes used. So let's uh, try to enter some of our prompts to the. Uh, terminal and let's also pay attention to what's happening on the uh, monitoring for the GPU. All right, so let's we can we can do our chatting with our bots. All right, press enter. Yeah, so this is will be unedited, so it looks uh, really quick. Right. Days in yeah, as you can see, that's uh, that's really fast, and also the uh, you can see our uh, VRAM usage and the GPU utilization. And uh, here is. Like very similar. This is the original NVIDIA dashboard. This is the NV top uh, modified uh, uh, interface to monitor the GPU. Okay, let's uh, try another one. We can see that both both GPU are being used. All right, so yeah, I think it looks good. Yeah, feel free to give it a try. So if you want to do the ben benchmark, so you can use this command. So this this command will like uh, help you to do a benchmark of your dual GPU system. Yeah, feel free to leave your comments and uh, let me know if I have any question. You can also uh, like uh, comment uh, your benchmark result so people can get an idea. So I think the significant uh, thing about it is that if you have have like a two 3090 or 4090, so then you can have a uh, 48 gigabytes of VRAM combined. So in that case, you were able to to run like sixty five billion size model. So that will be really like mind blowing because I I don't have a twenty four gigabyte GPU, so I don't get the opportunity to test that. But if you do have those, I think it will be great for for you to do a test 
for the like really large sized model. Okay, yeah, I hope you enjoy my video. If you haven't just subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.